Okay, let's start looking at another situation where we're entering in multiple assignments. So I'm going to enter in a few assignments here, again, specifying the categories. We'll call it assessment. I'm not going to bother with a description, because at this point I just want to show you what happens when we have multiple standards entered. So I picked three from the first strand, reading literature. Save. I'm going to enter in a new assignment, test B. List it again. Let's pick some of those same standards. One, two, three. Okay, enter in another assessment, test C. Let's enter in those three standards. Just for argument's sake, we'll enter in one, two from this one as well. Oh, I forgot to assign my category. And here we go, adding in a fourth assignment. Test D. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to close this now. Now let's look at what happens. I'm going to go back here to test A. And again, I'm going to open the window. And I'm going to give threes across the board. Student has met proficiency in each one of those standards. Test B, uh, not quite so much this time. We've got a two here, and we have a four here, and we've got a one here. Close that. Test C. Uh, let's see, we've got um, a four, a one, a three, two, four. But you know what? For this particular two here, our student, I don't want that strand to count. Let's just say for whatever reason on this particular assessment, the rigor of this, this question wasn't quite strong. I want parents to know how they've done, but I don't want it to count just yet. I'm going to control click, and then I'm going to exempt it. And you'll see that it becomes italicized. There it is. So this assignment here doesn't actually factor in any longer. It's still there, but not factoring in. In fact, I could do this for the whole group of students by clicking up here where the standard is, control click, fill scores, replace everything with exempt work, and click OK. As you can see, it says EX for exempt. If I had a score down there, that would automatically change to exempt. Now, assignment D or test D, let's say that student wasn't there that day. Control click. And I'm going to do it right here for the assignment, not the standard, and say that it was missing. So you can see, can't put anything in there because it was missing. Now I'm going to save this. Let's take a look at what it looks like from the student view before I show you what the parents will see. Here's the student view. And again, you can see this standard here. I've hit three times. One, two, three. A three, a two, and a four. Right now, all of these scores get averaged together to give me a 3. Just like these, a 3, 4, and a 1 get averaged together to make a 3. And the same over here. Now, the last time I was using this, I did a manual override. So I'm going to revert to calculated grade so you can see that overall for the strand on reading literature, right now it's averaging a 3, 3, and a 2 to get a 3. But when I look at this standard here, I see that, you know what, that student had a 3, and then I tested it again, a 4, and now they're at a 1. I don't feel confident saying they've mastered it. You can do a manual override here as well. Simply click on the number and put it to what you want. In this case, I'll, I'll define it as a 2. They're approaching at this point. And save. The little red light indicates that I've done a manual override. And now you'll see that the overall score here has changed from a 3 to a 2 because of the override that I've done. Conversely, over here, I've got a 3, a 1, and a 3, but now, because I feel they've met, I'll do another manual override here and change this to a 3. And save that one. And again, you see that this has changed automatically. This score here is what will appear for the strand in reading literature when we go to the parent side. Okay, and you'll see there's a new entry listed further along as well for the new strand that we've targeted. So there's a 4 here because we've hit this standard once. But you'll also notice 
Remember we exempted one because it was new? You can see the score here, but it doesn't factor in. Now let's take a look and see what that looks like on the parent side. 